Okay. So question 11 about inequalities. Um, the lawn is to be made, a lawn is to be made in the shape shown below. How exciting. The units are in metres. The perimeter of the lawn is P. Find P in terms of X. Okay, well, it we, we looks like we've got three sides of this, so we need to know the length of this side here. I'm thinking that this is looking like we've got a little right angle triangle in there. And we know two of the sides of the right angle triangle. We know that that side there is 3x, and we know that that side there, well, what, what would that side be? Would it be 4x? Why would it be 4x? Because that's 2 plus x. So it's, it's that minus 2 plus x. Yeah, the difference between 2 plus 5x and 2 plus x is 4x. So that distance is 4x. Very well done. And so using Pythagoras' theorem, we've got that that side squared. Um, can we call that y for now? y squared is 3x when you square it plus 4x when you square it. Remembering that we're squaring everything inside those little brackets, so that is 9x squared plus 16x squared is y squared. So y squared is 25x squared. So that other length there is 5x, which is good. Um, the question wanted to know the perimeter of this shape. So we've got to add together all of the sides, all of the outside. So the final answer for part one is going to be the perimeter is, where should we start? 3x plus 2 plus 5x plus that y length, which we now know is 5x, plus that little bit at the top, which is 2 plus x. And so we've got, um, where have we got? 10. 14x mm -hmm. plus another 4. Mm -hmm. And that would do for that first part. Okay, show that the area of the lawn is given by A equals 9x squared plus 6x. Well, again, I don't think having, I don't think there's an awful lot of work in this. We, um, we've got two shapes here, haven't we? We've got a rectangle it's there, and we've got a triangle. And so if we add the two shapes together, it's the rectangle plus the triangle. And rectangle is base times height. So um, that would be what we've we got. We've got that distance is 2 plus x. That distance is 3x. So that's 3x times 2 plus x. And the triangle, remember the area of a triangle, we're going to come back to this again in core two later on, but, but at the moment in core one, we know the area of a triangle as being the half the base times the height. So that's a half of 4x times the height, that was 3x, which gives us 6x plus 3x squared plus... Um, what we've got there, is that just 6x? And then, it's not, is it? 6x squared. Oh, 6x squared, yeah, thank you. There we go, that's better. Which gives us a, is 9x squared plus 6x. Right. Um, there was a part three, and the part three was where we were really thinking of this one. Now, we've, we're given two more bits of information. The perimeter must be at least 39 metres, and the area must be less than 99. By writing down and solving appropriate inequalities, determine a set of possible values of x. Let's start with that perimeter one first. We're told the perimeter must be at least 39, so 14x plus 4. <coughs> um, how are we going to write this then? At least 39? 
much greater than we And then we should be able to solve this. This is just a linear inequality, so we work it. We take away four from both sides. And that would give us 14x has to be uh, greater than or equal to that. And what's that? That's 28, so two and a half. Two and a half. X greater than or equal to two and a half or five over two. And the other thing that we've been given here is that the area, the area has to be less than 99. So our area formula there, 9x squared plus 6. Sorry, I've missed out an x there, haven't I? 6. Has to be less than... Less than 99. We've got a quadratic inequality. We're going to take everything over to one side. 9x squared plus 6x minus 99 has to be less than zero. Uh, we, we just said it a few moments ago, but what are we going to look at first before we try and factorise a quadratic? Is there a common factor? We divide it by 3. So that would be 3x squared plus 2x minus 33 is less than zero. Um, I, I want to try and factorise this. What do we think? Should we do the method? Let's do the method. Okay. So the, the method says you're going to multiply the first and last terms together. Um, 3x squared minus 33, that's minus 99x squared. Can we think of two things that times to give 99, or minus 99, and add to give 2. Okay. 11 and 9. 11 and 9, good. So what if it was, if it was plus 11 and minus 9x, they multiply together to give minus 99x squared, they add together to give plus 2. So we're going to write it as being 3x squared plus 11x minus 9x minus 33 is less than zero. Doing it with this method says you look at the first two terms and take out any factors that you might have there. There's not much going on there. There's a common factor of x, and that's it. x brackets 3x plus 11. Look at the next two terms. What's the common factor between those two? Um, 3 minus, minus three. 3. Again, that gives us 3x plus 11. Remember, we said that these two brackets need to match up in order for it to, to work, and they have done. So we've got 3x plus 11 times x minus 3 is less than 0. Now, remember, with quadratic inequalities, it's not just as simple as then saying, so x equals minus 11 thirds and x equals 3. What we, what we need to do, I, I, I've stressed with my groups this thing where you write down what we call critical values. That means for this inequality, the values that really matter are the values that would make it equal to 0, even though it's supposed to be less than 0. The thing that would make that bracket equal to 0 is minus 11 thirds. The thing that would make that bracket equal to 0 is plus 3. So they are our critical values. What we've got here is a quadratic that crosses at 3 and minus 11 thirds. And we wanted to know when this quadratic was less than 0. It's less than 0 there. There it is underneath the axis. So that's the bit that we're after. So the bit that matters as our solution here is x between minus 11 over 3 and plus 3. Okay, well, um, this question actually was telling us to solve these two inequalities together. 
um, determine the set of possible values of x. We've got, here we got that x had to be bigger than 2.5. Here we got x had to be between minus 11 thirds and plus 3. So we need to draw some conclusion from that. We've got... We've got um, x, well, we, with the first inequality, said x was bigger than or equal to 2.5. So x was bigger than or equal to 2.5. The other inequality said x was between minus 11 over 3, which is down here somewhere, and 3. Um, and so actually the only bit that, that it, it can be both in is that small area there that's quite limited. We end up concluding that x has to be greater than or equal to 2.5 and, and less than 3. And that would be it. That, it was the last bit of this paper, so that was a whole seven marks for the last bit. That question was 11 I marks. That one was quite, quite big, wasn't it? There we go. 11 minutes. How many minutes? 11 minutes.